Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and today we're going to be playing One Piece Thousand Storm. Now, I've seen this game before, but there is only like, I think, a Korean or Japanese version that was up. Now, there's an English version, as of right now, that is playable on the Google App Store. Now, I don't know when it, like, came up, but, you know, it's here now. I already went through, like, downloading everything. Hopefully, that's everything, and I don't have to download extra files, but you know with these games, they always, like, here's one part of the download, then here's the next part of the download. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll probably spend, like, 20 to 30 minutes looking around. Oh, Nami's here to show us the ropes. Now, I'm a huge One Piece fan. I love One Piece. Uh, who do I want to choose as my hometown? I think Sanji. Personally, I just like Sanji. Just because of his, like, fighting style. Too bad the man sucks against females, so... Well, in mostly any game, just because they try to base it off the story and the character's weakness. Do we get to play as Rayleigh in here? Hopefully they add in all the cast. I wonder if I can get Aokiji. If I can get him, I'll be happy. Oh. Alright, what kind of... Uh... Just tap where you want to move and automatically start attacking nearby enemy. Okay, that's interesting. So I have skills. Alright, let's use it. Ow. Alright, that's pretty interesting. I don't know if this is like my style though. Oh, I can dodge. Okay. I was trying to see if I could, like, move forward. Apparently, I can't. The character automatically walks forward. So, it's sort of like a bullet hell game, in a way. Okay, that technically could, should have counted as three. They threw three of them at me. Yeah, in a way, it is a bullet hell game. God, it's kind of weird to try and dodge these guys. Because it feels like the rock comes out of their hands before I even, like, get a chance to dodge. Oh no, giant croc. He definitely looks like a One Piece monster. Don't worry, I'm going to punch him in the face. Punch him. Okay, there is kind of, sort of like a delay in it, and like the moving. Punch him in his stupid face. Oh god. Wait, can I dash back? Oh, I can just a little bit, but not a whole bunch. It seems like I can cancel a hit with the uh, skill. I can say it's a pretty interesting like style. Mastered the basics? <laughs> yeah, sure. I have mastered the basics. Great. Alright, so now we got two. Are these just our side characters just to help us along? Or do we have to get to control them? Oh yeah, it's just computer players. Okay. Okay. 
That's nice. Uso definitely looks like he'll be quite useful. Apparently I can switch to Sanji as well. His legs are so... like... <laughs> His legs are so short compared to the actual Sanji. Okay, I like that. Plus he got some real good distance on it. Oh god. There it goes. Stun him again. God, it's so weird trying to, like, quickly react to that. Alright. This game is definitely gonna be something I gotta get used to. It probably would be easier on mobile than it would on emulator, though. But that's a given. If I was to put a control pad on here, that would be pretty simple. I probably should not do that. Alright. I'm probably going to test it anyway, just to see if that actually works. Oh. Oh, that's a weird way of summoning something. Oh, that's what she's found, Zoro. Okay. Not sure if it was after or like. Hmm. Alright, so we can put in a name now. Let's go ahead and see if this is taken. Probably is. Or, or not. I still got a little bit of allergies going on as well, guys, so I do forgive. So do forgive me if I start, like, and all that. Two year Luffy. Hmm. Two year ago, Sanji. So I guess we get the get time skip Luffy and all that. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't name him Time Skip Luffy though. All right, what all do we have here? God, so many things popping up. If you delete this game, you lose your game data. What? Excuse me? There better be a way to save that. Or that's just going to be a st pretty much no point of playing a game unless you have emulator. So you can have like more room. Because that just takes up space on the phone if you really don't play it that often. Okay. I'll hit quest in a little bit when I actually go over here first. What mission do we have? We have one mission completed. Add scene.
Listen to gifts. I'll just start daily. Alright. So this is going to be a little weird to try to figure out with the whole UI and everything. Even with the tutorials. So this is some new things that are actually here now. Hmm. Interesting. Theater. Because we haven't equipped any scenes, I... Uh, I think. What's all this? Well, I guess this is just to get new scenes. Uh, or new characters, maybe? Alright, so we could do a single one. Let's do that. It seems like we got a chance to get in the character. All I need is a camera. Hmm. Alright, let's look at crew. See what all we have here. Add scenes. Uh, customize. Equip. Let's use. Okay, so each of these have like different stats you can like put on. But the thing is, it's nice to have the stats and everything, but it's not fighter, so I would have to pick something else. So let's go ahead and put this back. Hey, you go right there. How do we switch to Sanji? There we go. Let's put this on him. And let's put this on him. So, I'm guessing you would want to uh, get the same scene for the character that it goes to. And they would probably get like a different skill, maybe? But it has no like skills or anything on this one. And I'm pretty sure on this one it has no skill. No, it does. But it's not okay. So it it must be on the same character then. Interesting. It does start off like a little bit confusing, but I think you started to get used to it after a while. And here's where you start leveling up the character. What all do we need to level up? Require five character medals and a little bit of berries. Alright, so what I can say right now is just pretty much just follow all the instructions. I know some of the instructions could look a little bit confusing, but I say just give it time. Let's skip this. I'm trying to get in some gameplay time. Are we doing a strength match or? I'm confused about that. I guess a strength match? We'll do free match and see if that does anything else. Oh, that's just recruiting other players. Okay. Just to see who wins, I'm guessing. What about free? Is free the same thing? Yeah, free is just the same thing. Doesn't really matter. You're still taking in other people and still going in. Let's see if we get anyone. Unable to find people, so I guess I'll just take it into computer players. That's fine by me. So it's pretty much like a co-op game in a way. 
we kind of learned that from the computer players uh, following us around in the tutorial. Got the chest. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's really weird to try and control this. Let's use this. Okay, so it does have like a hitbox. Big soldier sword. Well, he won't be able to handle these hands. Alright, that was pretty easy. Well, it's not half bad, but it does feel like not a lot of people can get into the game. Alright, cool. Got some medals. Plus we level up our scene each time we go in. I can say it is definitely an interesting game, but I don't see a lot of people getting behind it with sort of the way it is. Just feels like a little bit off or can come off confusing with the whole scene thing. But I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people who've explained it inside of other YouTube videos. And I kind of explained it. It's just pretty much you finding like scenes which are pretty much like gear in a way. Some of them have skills, some of them don't. And those skills have to match up with pretty much your character just to get those skills. If you try to put a skill on the character that isn't in the scene or requires it, the skill does not activate. If you put it on, like, let's say the Zoro like scene I had got, if I put that on Zoro, I would get that skill. Basically how that goes. I got the gist of it. Okay, this is weird trying to, like, click and fight. Doesn't seem like he wants to fight when I do this, then. Okay, so he's not just... Okay, whatever. Whatever, game. All right, I actually got to see the hitbox that time. So yeah, it does kind of feel like it's just an auto game to where you can like dodge back and forth and everything. I'm going to see if I can actually put this right here and see if that works. Alright, so let's go to our next mission. If anything, it's probably going to be a little bit clunky trying to do that. Hopefully we can get some people here. Doesn't seem like many people are playing the game or many like new players are coming in. Which is unfortunate. But I can kinda see why in a way. This is definitely not my type of game though, I can say that. So we're gonna do two more at least. Okay, it this kinda works out in a way. Oh. Only type tap like once because then it just does like the rest of them. Because I'm double tapping.
All right, get them out of there. The game definitely feels like it like lags behind a little bit as well. I can't say it's like fully all there. It just feels like it just feels like there's a little bit of latency. I did not want you to face that way. Thank you, game. Like, I'm going to tell you guys when I push the dodge button. Right now. Right now. See, there's a little bit of delay behind it. And plus, I don't think a game like this can get extremely popular. Just because... Most people like being able to control the uh, character themselves, but see, when I click on a character, he doesn't do anything. Let's see if I can get like closer to him. Okay, yeah, it's kind of weird trying to do that, so it kind of just feels like an auto game, if anything. But it's cool they have most of the cast in the game, though. I was about to see if Sanji was weak to her. Alright, we're gonna do one more. But don't take anything I say to heart. You guys can still try out the game yourselves. You guys may enjoy it more than I would, or more than anybody else would. Because it definitely has like a really good concept, it's just that... Eh, it's just not my style of play. So let's do this last one, unless there's like a boss to finish off this area, then I'll probably do that. No promises. I don't know how that hit me, but okay. Okay, that time I dodged in front of it. Kind of with dodging, you gotta wait for your character to realize that he has to go back and attack. You can't like dodge, then attack immediately. Especially with gutters around, that's kind of going to be, like, really pressuring. Because the gunners do reload quite easily. So that's why I'm going to take this one out. Alright, everybody else took out that one. It's all good. Alright, what did we get out of this? We got some more scenes and another medal. If I knew I was gonna get, like, a scene for Zero, I probably would have just picked Zero. <laughs> Seems like you can get some characters from events as well. Let's take a look at missions and see what's in there. You earn zero and rainbow coins for completing all these. So, 
Yeah, I definitely would do that. You get a lot of medals for getting a third member. What's with panel two? Alright, and the game freezes a little bit. I kind of like the look of Zoro. Alright, what was in our missions? Now that we got the panels out of the way. Alright, we got money. And we got something in here. You have to actually go down all the way here. Normally they would put them at the top when you complete them, but apparently not this one. Oh, so you can acquire a character. Uh, crew. Alright, acquire. Do we acquire Zoro right now? There he goes. Now then. We're going to put his scene on him, just to test our theory. Now, it was on Sanji. Yeah, like I said. That's exactly how it works. Put the scene on the character that is in it, or requires it, and you get the skill for it. Not bad. I feel like I'm missing a scene though. Yeah, I am. Oh, okay, I double clicked it. Whoops. Alright, so they can only hold up, up to three skills. Alright, so that's all I had. Alright, apparently we can evolve him now. Let's evolve him. Alright, the evolving scene's kinda cool. I don't know why he's sparking, but you know, whatever. We can evolve Luffy a lot, apparently. So let's do that. I don't feel like their appearance changed all that much. So let's evolve him again. This time he needs 12. Yeah, the appearance doesn't change, it just depends on whatever character you actually get. Okay. Wait a minute. This one I need... Okay. I just don't have enough gold for that. That's reasonable. Let's do one more summon before we, like, stop it here, guys. But we also got some of this other stuff done, too. Alright, sweet. Defeat Smoker. Log in tomorrow. Uh, actually, I could start... I can go back to Luffy if I want to. But we're gonna go back to theater and summon one more time. Alright. Let's see if we can get it big good. Even though we're just single summoning. Oh, seems like it's a four-star. Or at least a four-star. That's what it looks like. Alright, so we got his. Uh, too bad we didn't get him, though. But, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to try out the game yourselves and pretty much tell me what you think. Because everybody has different opinions, everybody has the different tastes in games. This one just, like I said, isn't for me. But, yeah. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to check these missions and make sure there's nothing in here. Alright. Just those. Oh well. Till then, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.